it's Susan here from Kamari no Hime Cosplay, and welcome to the May Cosplay Progress Vlog. I uploaded one of these in April and figured I would continue with it. When I ended the April video, I hadn't quite finished the hat for Halloween Sakura yet, but now that is done, and this is what it looks like. It's been a few days since I last updated you, and the ruffle trim that I ordered came in the mail, so now I have everything needed to complete this costume. It's a little bit later in the day, and I've finished the base cape for Sakura. To be honest, I am not a fan of it really at all, but I'm just going to keep pushing forward with this costume, and hopefully everything looks good once all of the pieces come together. I made the bow for Sakura's cape, so now it is officially done. The bow, I feel, makes a huge difference in how it looks. I feel like the bow makes it significantly more cute and a lot better. So while I'm not super thrilled with how it turned out, I'm going to call it done and I'm ready to move on to other parts of the costume. It's been about a week since I last filmed and here is the progress on Sakura's dress. The collar and skirt aren't attached yet, I just put everything on the dress form to see how it was coming together. I was hoping to finish this this weekend, but since everything else is so stressful, I don't want to stress about cosplay, so if I get it done, I get it done. This is not cosplay related at all, but the spring 2020 Pusheen box came in the mail and I thought I would open it up. The theme was like a spa theme, self-care theme, which is always appreciated. The vinyl figure is a little bit different this time in that Pusheen is pretty small and is sitting inside a potted plant. It also came with this cute little wooden tray. The wood's not finished, so I'm not really going to be using it for food, but I need to find a place in the sewing room that I can incorporate it. And it came with a mood tracker, pad of paper, and a hot cold pack. Pusheen boxes typically come with an article of clothing, so there is a chiffon robe that came with this month, and there is a tea infuser bottle, so it's got this little area that you could put tea in, and the bottle itself is glass, which is nice, however I'm afraid I would break it if I took it to work, so I'll probably leave that at home. There's a little tray, it's supposed to be for incense, so it's got this little hole in it. I'll probably use it as a miniature plate, however, it has a chip in it, and this was after I got it, so probably shouldn't have put it in the dishwasher. And lastly, there is this, I think they called it a wall tapestry. So it's this piece of fabric with a Pusheen design. The design's really cute, and it's got these little uh, grommets in it so you can hang it. Not sure I'm really going to use this one, though. So yeah, Pusheen box. Now back to actual cosplay content. So my goal for finishing Sakura last weekend didn't happen, but I did sleep for like 11 hours on Sunday, so I guess I needed that instead. And the dress is almost done, it just needs the sleeves. I also got all of the corset pieces cut out, and the lining portion of the corset is complete. Well, it is now Sunday afternoon, and Sakura is finally done. So I've got everything all together on the dress form. I finished the dress, finished the corset, and redid the snaps on the cape so that it fits a little bit better. So I am very excited to finally be done with this costume and ready to move on to something new. <laughs> 